Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I wanted to do a No Catchy Name episode, so this is 165, I'm pretty sure. It's been a while since I put out a video, and it's just because I've been busy um, with a newborn. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's get into it. I got uh, so three, four, five, six finished objects to share with you guys, and one active whip. And, uh, yeah, so it's going to be pretty quick, because most of my finished objects are little uh, patterns, because <laughs> I've been crocheting around having a baby <laughs> and um so i haven't done a lot of crocheting just a bunch of little things but uh i'm gonna hop into it and get it done with because one of these amigurumis that i made jesse's been wanting and i told him he had to wait till i um recorded the video to um get it <laughs> so i'm gonna hop on in so my first finished object you did already see the first two first three actually you've already seen just in other videos so my first finished object is my groundhog <laughs> that I made for Groundhog's Day. He's so cute. Uh, it is a free pattern by Yarn Inspirations. Uh, so he's going to be put in storage with my um, Valentine's Day decorations. So I can pull them out every January into February to be out probably on the mantle um, for Groundhog's Day every year. But I just, I've been wanting to make this for a while and I finally sat down and made it. <laughs> I actually made this on Groundhog's Day this year. So I used an e-hook and the yarn is a scrap ball of Red Heart Super Saver coffee. And then there is a little bit of black and then I used safety eyes. He's got a little something on him. But he's just adorable. I think he's so cute. <laughs> so that was my first finished object. My next one that you've also seen, this was in a... I can't remember if this was Stitcher Library or a whip. Wednesday video. I can't remember. This is in one of my videos uh, already. But uh, I like to round up everything in my No Kitchen Name episodes that I, I did recently. So this is the Ballerina Mouse by Heart and So. It is a free pattern as well. All these will be linked below, by the way. Um, so here she is. I think she's adorable. She's so cute. Got a little tail. She's so cute. And she is made also with an e-hook. And uh, this is a scrap ball that was gifted to me. I'm not sure what it is. I'm pretty sure it's Red Heart, but I can't, I don't know what the color is. And then the pink is, I love this yarn, Pinky Toes. Uh, sparkly, it's got like a metallic shimmer in it. And it's just so cute. I love it so much. This is going to be for June when she gets older. So I'm going to put this, I have a bag of amigurumis. I've been making for her. Then I'm going to put this in and be able to give it to her when she gets older. But it's just so cute. I love this pattern. All right, the last one that you've already seen <laughs> is a hat that I made. This was um, uh, this was a stitch library, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, this is called the Mermaid Dreams Messy Bun Beanie. Last time I showed it to you, I had the bow sewed to the front. I have since moved it to the back because I think it looks better on the back. And I took a picture of me wearing it with my hair in a bun because it's meant your hair is meant to be in a bun when you're wearing this, and it does definitely look better in the back. So I'll insert that picture if I can. Um, remember to uh, sometimes forget there and start the pictures but here's the hat so the bow is in the back now this is the seam for the brim so that is the front and the bow is in the back I think it looks so much better um in the back but this is a paper pattern I got it for free using a coupon code a while ago years ago <laughs> um but it is a paper pattern I love this stitching it's shell stitches and uh it's just a cute hat I like it a lot there's also in the pattern you can close it all the way to make it a regular hat so that you don't have to have a bun sticking out the top of it but I think it's adorable I like it a lot and this is my hat I'm keeping this one I used a J hook on this and the yarn is Red Heart Super Saver Straps um retro straps I love that color white it's so pretty I need to get more of it because I've used up all of mine so I gotta get some more of that <laughs> the pattern is by Crochet from Crazy for Crochet Mama and I'll link below her Etsy shop listing for it and also her Ravelry shop listing for it. So you can purchase it at either one if you want to. Alright, so those are the ones you've already seen <laughs> but in other videos. So now, my next finished object. I made this um, just because I love all of that string ding ding. I love all her patterns. She has the cutest ones ever. And she put this out recently and I've been wanting to make it so I went ahead and just whipped out one. It's meant to be like a gift bag to put candy in. But I'll probably just use it as a decoration uh, next year <laughs> since Valentine's Day is over already. But it's called Owl Candy Bag by Stringy Ding Ding. It is a free and a paper pattern. You can buy it PDF or you can get it for free on her website. So I'll link the website below and then you can purchase it if you want to through there. I used a G-hook and I used scrap yarn of Red Heart Super Saver Cherry Red. 
and this pink and white is Premier Just Yarn that I got at the Dollar Tree. So, it's really cute. And these safety eyes. It is actually a little bag that you can put stuff down in. But I'll probably just hang it somewhere. Just be a cute little Valentine's Day decoration uh, in the future. But I think it's cute. My beak's on there a little crooked, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. So I just made this the other day. Just when I was just sitting and wanting to crochet and I wanted to do something quick. So that um, in between June napping. So I just whipped this out and it's just so cute. I like it a lot. This would be cute to make a bunch for like a classroom or something. Uh, to give a bunch of little kids a little treat bag. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I made this on the 11th it looks like. And uh, I think it's adorable. Probably definitely make more of these in the future. Next year. You can even make the owl, like instead, because it's two parts, front and back. You can just make the front and the pieces and make like a little bunting of owls. That would be cute. But yeah, so there's that. This next one is also another uh, Olive at Stringy Ding Ding's um, free pattern. This was the most recent one she put out. As soon as I got the email, uh, I immediately went and made one of these patterns because it was so cute and I wanted to try it out. She has a bunch of little amigurumi patterns that are no sews. Um, I know she has a duck and a mouse because I've made both of those. I believe there's a frog, a spider, and there's a little candy. It looks like a like a peppermint candy, you know, and like a circle candy with the wrappers on the sides. But this one just came out the other day, and it's cat. <laughs> it's kind of blown out because they aren't used. I used a scrap ball of it's. I know it's a lovish charm, but I can't remember what the color it's called. But um, I made other hammer groupings with it in the past, so it only takes a little tiny bit of yarn, <laughs> and all these the legs, the ears, and the tail. Are all crocheted as you go these are like puff stitches and these are kind of like little shell stitches no i think these are puff stitches too no they're shells and then the tail you just chain it and go back and then you close up the booty <laughs> and it's got safety eyes and i stitched on a nose uh i think if i make another one i'm going to try to use one of my safety noses and see if it looks good this is the one that jesse wants though he keeps asking me for this cat he wants to play with it and i tell him after i film my video he can um have it but i'll probably make more of these i love these little patterns that you don't have to sew anything other than the tail weaving in you know and uh you use up scrap balls and make cute little things that kids like again it would be good for like classroom gift or uh easter basket gifts and things like that so i gotta give this to jesse when i get done recording this uh because he keeps asking for it <laughs> but it's so cute uh, as soon as i got the email i immediately went to her website on my phone and whipped this out really quick I used an elf hook. I believe hers calls for a G hook, but I um, I tend to crochet tight, so I needed to go down a hook size so that I wouldn't have holes in my um, stitches. <laughs> and uh, this is just scrap yarn. I know it's all of this yarn. I just can't remember what the colorway is called. I think it has something to do with sprinkles, or it's, it's like gelato sprinkles or something like that. <laughs> I can't remember. But yeah, so that's all my. F oh nope, not a lot. I finished this one today. This was a whip yesterday when I was going to film this video. <laughs> and then uh, June ended up thought of it. So I did not film this video uh, yesterday. So I ended up finishing it. But this is... Where is that? Okay. This is a St. Patrick's Day pattern. <laughs> Already. Getting ready. Uh, it's called St. Patrick's Day Chapeau. I don't know how you say that. It's a hat. And it's a free pattern by Yarnspirations. It is a PDF download. So you can get a nice copy of it. Uh, I used an H and I hook on it. And worsted weight scraps so it's a hat <laughs> it is a leprechaun hat <laughs> i think it's cute definitely gonna be wearing this on st patrick's day which i think is a thursday this year i can't remember but i think it's adorable <laughs> so the green is um it's actually two different shades of green up to about like right here and then i had to take my other scrap ball and pull a lot of it out to make two balls because the green part is holding double uh, and I didn't have enough of one color green scrap balls to make the whole hat. So I don't, I don't know if you can tell it, but it's two different colors of green. And then somewhere through here is another color. Because I ran out of one scrap ball, so I just added a different one to it. And then down here at the brim, um, I ran out. So I had to take my last scrap ball and split it into two and finish the hat up. And I still have like two little size scrap balls left that I put back in my bag. So I used up a lot of the green scrap balls. And then this is uh, Red Heart Black scrap, and this is something I can't remember. I don't think I don't know if this is Red Heart or not, but uh, the pattern also has like a four leaf clover. I just didn't want to make that. I thought I liked it just the way it is. <laughs> so yeah, but this is the only part that's held double. The black and the gold is just single. So the eye hook is for the hat, and the H is for these two pieces. 
and the clover if you decide to make it. But yeah, I think it's cute. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be wearing this for St. Patrick's Day. And if Jesse's uh, school does some kind of St. Patrick's Day party, I'll let him take it to school with him. Because his head's about the same size as mine. He has a big head. <laughs> He's a big kid for his age. But yeah. Oh, my hair's all weird now. But I love this. I think it's cute. And if I'm not wearing it, like for a video, I can just set it somewhere for decoration uh, in my living room. Because I decorate my living room for every holiday. If you've been with me for a while, you know that. <laughs> but um, I'm actually going to be putting St. Patrick's Day up this weekend. Because I'm going to take Valentine's Day decorations down when Devin's home and can help me. <laughs> and then I will... Um, St. Patrick's Day up. So this will be going somewhere in the living room uh, until I decide to wear it for videos and stuff uh, coming up soon. So I love it. It's covered in hair because I was shedding like crazy. <laughs> but I think it's a super cute pattern. And it's a free pattern so that's always good. So right now I only have one active whip and it is my what's it called? Shrug. I forgot what the word was. So last time I showed it to you guys I only had 11 rows done. Now I have 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 34 done. So I'm about halfway done. I need to do um, 77 rows, I believe. That's what the pattern calls for, but you know, I will judge the size when I get there. But I'm using Red Heart Super Saver Zebra. <laughs> this, yeah, it's just Red Heart Super Saver Zebra. So it's black and white and gray mix. This is my Beetlejuice themed. Um, shrug because <laughs> i love ev everything tim burton so i always wanted to make something beetlejuice themed so the body of it is going to be with this yarn and then the trim and the cuffs are going to be with a really bright yarn called red heart uh glow worm which is discontinued but i did have some gifted to me that i've been saving <laughs> for this project and i'll be using that for it and uh if you want to make something similar to this i had someone email me asking about it um since glow worm is discontinued uh, I love this yarn by Hobby Lobby has a really similar color called Limelight that is also a really nice bright green color uh, that would be a good substitute for that yarn but here it is so far so it's still zigzagging the second ball has been attached let's see here right there is where the first ball ran out and I attached the second one so there it is so far and it's going it'll be this way and the shrug is supposed to go down past your butt. <laughs> it's like a big oversized shrug. If I think about it, I'll put in a picture of the pattern picture. <laughs> um, so I like that it's going to be long because I like for my sweaters and things to cover my butt. <laughs> and um, so it's going to be made this way. So it's about halfway the size it's going to be. And then uh, I'll add the trim and the cuffs and all that. But I'll judge the actual size once I get closer to getting there. To decide if I want to make it bigger or smaller uh, yeah but this is a really easy pattern so far this is like a mesh stitch and uh, the brim looks easy enough border whatever it's called <laughs> and it is a free pattern by making do crew it's called the stonewash scrub scrub shrug that's what it's called on Ravelry but when you click on the website link and go to the website it just says a uh, lightweight and easy shrug or something like that but uh, I'm using an eye hook I believe right here yeah an eye hook and the worsted weight yarn and yeah I started this on the 7th so I'm still working on it it's kind of just like a slow project because it's the same thing over and over again I work on it in between dealing with the baby so I haven't I mean I got a good amount I put a stitch marker every 10 rows so it's easier for me to count how, what row I'm on um, so this is 30 and then there's four so <laughs> I know I'm on row 34 um, so I don't have to count each one every time because that would be annoying but I'm just using these safety pin looking stitch markers <laughs> as um row count thingies but yeah so it's coming along i'll get done with it eventually but i'm just working on it slowly i'm not in a rush to finish it or anything because i like having mindless projects on the go to do when i'm like watching tv and stuff so there we go and i got plenty of this yarn i have this is like half a skein and then i have um this is more than half a skein and uh I have four more full skeins so I definitely have enough to finish this and uh, might be able to make a hat or something to match it who knows <laughs> but that is all I've been working on lately not as much as I normally do because I've been really busy with the baby <laughs> she's a lot um, different than Jessie was that's for sure I don't get as much um, time to do stuff as it is with Jessie she's a lot more uh, clingier she likes to be held a whole lot more than he did 
but she's also she's 20 days old today so she's still little <laughs> but um i'm looking forward to her being able to you know, like lay on play max you know and play with toys and be distracted <laughs> i'm looking forward to that stage already because um i don't get to do much of anything <laughs> i feel like i'm just sitting around a lot of the time which is not in my personality <laughs> i like being busy you all know that if you've watched me uh for any amount of time you know that i stay busy constantly and ever since i had her i have not been able to do like three-fourths of the amount of things i want to do <laughs> um i have a bunch of bags cut out and ready to go i just i'm not gonna be able to sew them for a while until she gets a little bit less clingy i thought about wearing her and like slowly introducing her to the sound of this old machine she should be used to it because of me sewing so much while i was pregnant but i don't know we'll see i thought i would do that and like make the noise you know with my foot the pedal <laughs> and see how she reacts to it because i could sew with her attached to me um but uh, I'll do that maybe this weekend when Devin's home and can help me do stuff. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, everything's fine. Uh, Jesse and her get along pretty good. He loves on her and he helps a lot uh, with me, you know, getting things for her and stuff. And he'll just randomly come over while he's doing stuff and he'll like pat on her and love on her. And he kisses her goodnight and kisses her when he goes to school in the morning. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm recovered pretty much. I feel like I'm about 100% back to normal. I'm just... I still get random headaches, and I don't know if that has to do with the spinal headache stuff or if it's just stress and lack of sleep. <laughs> so, um, she was sleeping really good during nights, and then the last three nights she hasn't been sleeping at all, hardly. So, um, I'm adjusting. <laughs> I'm really tired all the time, but, uh, you know, it's to be expected when you have a new baby at the house. But, yeah, so, I guess that's it for a life update. I haven't been doing much at all except that little bit of crocheting. You'll probably see some more of these little cats because they're really fun and can I can whip them up really quick. That's one of those patterns that you, you can get it in your head and then you can just make it over and over again, you know. And um, yeah, I don't, I'd like to start some more projects, but I'll probably stick to little things for now so that I can have some like gratification of finishing things. <laughs> That's my plan. I'm trying not to commit to anything too big because I know I'm busy with the baby and uh, she's going to be little for a while. So she needs a lot of attention. <laughs> she's in the living room right now with Devin and Jesse. They're watching Moana and um, snacking and stuff. So I'm going to hop off here and go take a shower and then I'm going to go find me something to eat because I'm hungry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think I've done said everything I needed to say. I'm hoping tomorrow's Wednesday, I'm pretty sure. I think today's Tuesday. I'm pretty sure today's Tuesday. <laughs> um, I can't, oh yeah, because Valentine's Day was yesterday. The, oh, I'll insert what Devin got me for Valentine's Day. Uh, he got me some flowers and a balloon. I always get flowers and a balloon because I love flowers and balloons. And he also got me a Lego set because <laughs> I am currently obsessed with the movie Encanto. <laughs> me and Jesse's been watching it a lot and I absolutely love all the songs in it and I just love the movie. It's a really good movie. Um, so he got me a Lego set for that and it's on my mantle right now. We, we built it yesterday night and, um, no, not what? no it was sunday night it was sunday night that we built it um and then uh it's sitting on the mantle so i'll just leave it there because i like to look at it but uh yeah and i got him some horror movie collectible thingies and a t-shirt and some candy <laughs> he didn't give me any candy which was weird because normally he does but um it's not a big deal because we still have halloween candy left over <laughs> so still trying to eat it and easter's right around the corner and i know we're gonna get a lot of candy for that too but um yeah, I don't think I have any more left updates that I can think of. But, um, yeah, I'm still taking those stupid shots. I have to take those until my six-week appointment, and then they're supposed to wean me off of it. So, it's still a lot of days of shots left because I have to take them to that appointment, which isn't until March. I feel like that's so far away. <laughs> and then um, wean off of it from there. And, like, my body, now that I'm not big and pregnant anymore... <laughs> It's reacting different to the shots. I'm all bruised up and like everywhere that I've been doing the shots is got like knots under the skin, you know, like swollen. Um, it's annoying. I'm running out of space, spaces to put it. <laughs> so I'll be so glad to get off that shot because it's just a hassle every day to do it. And I'm on medicine still. I'm on iron and um, vitamin C because of the shots making me anemic. <laughs> so ugh, it's just annoying. I'll just be so glad when it's all over and I can go back to normal. <laughs> I want. I just want to be back to normal. But, um, yeah. Anyways, I'm just blapping now. I have lost all the weight, though. All the baby weight. Uh, 
that I put on when I was pregnant with her. And I had lost weight in the beginning of the pregnancy too. So I lost quite a bit of weight. <laughs> so I'm already back in my jeans and stuff from pre-pregnancy. So that's nice. <laughs> I do miss the maternity pants though already because they're so comfy. But um, yeah, I guess that's it. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because I got to get this edited. And I'm going to go take a shower and then I'm going to get some food and then go back in there and mom. Because <laughs> uh, tonight is Tuesday so i got to get Jesse ready for school tomorrow. Devin's going to work so I have to deal with both the kids and um yeah it's an adjustment I'm getting used to it though <laughs> so I will hop off here I'll hopefully see you guys tomorrow for watch work on Wednesday and I need to do a happy mail video because I got a little stack of happy mail and my knit crate is here for February it's just at the post office I gotta go pick it up I have uh, January's too because I got it right around the time that I went into the hospital so I never did make a video for that I don't think maybe I did I can't remember <laughs> But uh, February's is in the post office. I gotta go get that one day this week. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna hop off here and I will see you guys in hopefully tomorrow. Watch your work on Wednesday. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Bye guys. Yeah.